Good morning. I'm walking through downtown LA toward Olvera Street. I just had a wonderful sprout laden bagel at Marie's. Now I'm gonna go check out uh, the old center of downtown Los Angeles. Look at that thing. And here's LA City Hall. Along with some incredibly tall palm trees. So walking through downtown LA, I didn't take a lot of footage because a lot of parts seemed like the kind of place where you'd want to keep a low profile. On the flip side, I've heard the word Instagram bandied about at least a dozen times since I left the hotel, so uh, it's a city of contradictions. And welcome to the Olvera Street Market. In 1781, the first few colonists from New Spain arrived at this location to found Los Angeles. That same year, they set up and established this church, Nuestra Señora Reina de Los Angeles, Our Lady, Queen of Angels. So while the church was technically founded in 1781, it wasn't actually completed until the early uh, 1800s. Uh, 1822, I think it said. It's still the oldest church in Los Angeles. Um, so I have been walking around here looking for some sort of Los Angeles themed artwork, like a painting or a photo or something to that effect, because uh, that's what I need. But most of what they sell here is clothes and accessories. So I think I'm just going to uh, Take a trip back to the hotel and get started out for Malibu. Well, it turns out that the supercharger is located right next to Broad Street Oyster Company, where I'm about to eat an entire sea urchin. Cool. Look at some of these houses. This is wealth. We are out on Malibu Point. All these houses face the coast. And man, can you tell. It's beginning to feel a lot like Florida. Everywhere you go. So after a lot of driving around, and in the end having to pay for some parking, and a lot of walking after that, I made it to the tip of Malibu Point. God darn it! Look at this house. Got a big old oculus right there. So this thing is called Point Doom. D-U-M-E, not the mountain from Lord of the Rings. And... It's basically a big volcanic lump that sits at the very tip of Malibu Point. It was once sacred to the Chumash peoples that lived here, and now it just kind of serves as a local landmark. So it looks like it's pronounced Dume, and that it was discovered in 1793. Man, is it windy up here. things to notice. One, if you look way over there in the haze, that's LA. I can see why a lot of uh, celebrities come out here to live. It's close to the city, but kinda isolated. There's a big cruise ship over there, or a cargo ship of some kind, hard to say. And three, way out there in the haze, you can just see a little coastline, which I think is a channel island, a national park, which I won't be visiting, but which someday I probably will. So the wind shifted directions, and now, off in the LA side, you can see another channel island over there. It's kind of cool, 
these mountainous ghosts out in the haze guarding the bay. Another interesting thing that I heard about Point Doom slash Dume over there is that that's where Tony Stark's house was in the original Iron Man movie. Technically, you're not allowed to build there, but they needed a place in Malibu that hadn't been built on already, and so they said, well, what's the place of honor? Here you go. So yeah, I've been to Tony Stark's house. Feels good. Feels appropriate. So I went to Cafe de la Plage over here in Malibu proper, and uh, I had a croque madame, and they gave me this gray ice cream that they said was activated charcoal black vanilla. It's pretty tasty, so um, I might have to figure out how to get activated charcoal black vanilla back home. So it looks like there's an accident up ahead, so I'm gonna end up finding my way through these mountains in order to avoid it. So after fighting a lot of traffic and overpriced parking, I've made it to the Griffiths Observatory in Griffith Park, staring at the Hollywood sign all the way over there on the hill. I would hike to it, but it's a good three miles and uh, sunset is almost here. So I think I'm just gonna bum around and see what the observatory has to offer. Man, is that an incredible view. If you look way over there, that tall one is the hotel. I could almost walk there. Alright, the sun is down, and so must I be.